Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A few days ago, I did a Luminar AI video talking about the linear gradient, or as they call it in Luminar AI, the linear mask. If you haven't seen that video in the description below this video, I'll have a link to it. In that video, I mentioned that I'll be doing another video talking about the radial gradient, or again, as they call it in Luminar AI, the radial mask. We're going to apply that radial gradient or radial mask to this image of the fisherman. Now, of course, it's a fisherman standing in front of the waterfall, but his fishing pole is kind of leading, it's a leading line, it's kind of leading the viewer off the image. So I kind of want to return focus onto the fisherman and the waterfall. So I'm going to use a radial gradient for that. And what I'm going to do is apply the radial gradient on the fisherman and the waterfall and darken everywhere around him because uh, we tend to look at the brighter parts of an image and not look at the darker parts of the image. So if I subtly darken the outer parts of, you know, everywhere around the fisherman and waterfall, it will tend to put everyone's gaze more towards the middle. Then I plan to add a second radial mask and have that affect the middle of the image where the fisherman and waterfall is. And with that radial mask, I'm going to add some saturation because we tend to look at the most colorful parts of the image and not look at the more subtly colored parts of the image. So that will help uh, put focus more on the fisherman and kind of negate this leading line of the fishing pole. Now, so far, all I've done on the image is I did some light adjustments. I moved a couple sliders. Uh, that's it. Uh, enhance, I moved accent a tiny bit. And I went down to landscape and I added a little bit of golden hour uh, to it. Now I'm ready to add my radial masks. To do that, we go to local masking. And then at the top, we click add and we're going to add a basic mask. Now there's three different types of basic masks. Under this drop down, you'll see there's a paint mask. That's a brush. There's our radial mask that we're going to use. And that gradient mask I did in that video a few days ago. So we're going to do the radial mask. And it's prompting us to click and drag to draw a circle. And we'll do that right over the fisherman. So I'm drawing this circle. And you can see as I pause there, it's showing a red overlay. The red overlay is on the outside of the circle. And that's what I want it to be. I want to affect everywhere around the fisherman and waterfall, but um, not the fisherman and waterfall. So that will do that. So I'm going to make it nice, pretty large. And then I'm going to go to this handle. There's four handles, one on the left, right, and you can't see them. I have them off screen, but there's uh, one at the top and bottom as well. And we'll go and we'll make it more of an oval like that. And we'll reposition it a little bit. Now, if I wanted to make the entire oval larger or smaller, I'd go to this uh, inner circle and I could make everything larger or smaller like that. Now, if you want to just turn that overlay on or off, hit the backslash key on your keyboard and that will turn that overlay on or off. Now again, we're affecting the outside uh, with this. If I wanted to affect the inside, I'd click this little button right here, and then you'll see the overlays now on the inside. We're not going to do that with this uh, image. We're going to affect that outside. So I'll hit the backslash key to uh, turn that overlay off. Now I mentioned I just wanna, I don't wanna make like, like that, you know. I just want to do it subtly, just make it a little darker, on the outside, uh, just like that. Now, another way you could kind of remove focus from an image or an area of an image, um, as one way is to make it a little darker. Another way is you could remove some saturation. Uh, that will kind of remove focus because we, again, tend to look at the most colorful parts of the image first. I don't want to do that with this image though. There are some nice kind of colorful fall leaves on the outside and I, I kind of like that. I just want to leave those there. I just want to subtly add that, um, bring exposure down so that it darkens everywhere around the fisherman. Now I'll do a before after. There's before and there's after. So you could see how it's kind of just helping bring focus on our fisherman. Now I want to add that second radial mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to add and add another basic mask so that it will add it. And then I'm going to go to the radial again. Now you could add 10 different local masks. I'm on my second right now. Again, we're going to click and draw this circle. We're going to create an oval like that. Now I want this to affect the inside. So I'm going to click this little button right here 
and you'll see that it's affecting the inside where our fisherman is. We'll bring it out just a little bit more and maybe over just a little bit. I want it on the waterfall as well, like that. Maybe like that, all right? And then we'll come over and here, I'm going to increase saturation. Make that a little bit more colorful. If I want to, I could uh, kind of increase exposure just a touch, maybe. Again, to help bring more um, emphasis on the fisherman, kind of negate this leading line again so that everyone is looking at him and the waterfall. And that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Two kind of subtle adjustments, but I think it helps uh, bring the focus more towards our fisherman. Now, to further that along, I could go up to Essentials and go to Vignette, and I could add a vignette, a dark vignette like that, and I could choose the subject and maybe have it off-centered like that. But I think the uh, radio filter is a little more versatile and a little more um, effective for this type of image than the vignette. But I could do the vignette on top of it as well. So that's it. That's how you use the radio mask that's in Luminar AI. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>